Ara, can I see a Gazagri sport teacher Kahar, Peladori, Bonistori, Ofagi Kunta, Agasakarja? Volume Falta Kurgok, then in your Fakshola Kamortis teacher Kahar, a grave Pel Gail Naman, a Grodena Shinsher, a Demodic Agasosher. As Uktrana Compel Gail Naman, I extend a warm welcome to Minister for Tourism, Sport and Culture, Mary Hannafin, and congratulate her on being the first female Minister of Sport in Ireland. And she's a capable and articulate minister, and indeed a minister who has a great love for sport. You're very welcome. And also, can I see TG Carr Paul, head of, of sport at TG Carr Rodan, uh, our players, county board officials, managers, um, the, our CEO, Helen O'Rourke, our national management, subcommittees, provincial councils, volunteers, our full time staff, all work in tandem with one another. The Uktar on the offshore who are coming to Mokikta and members of the media and our Pembroke Communications. Championship time brings you renewed expectations, excitement and endeavour for all participants, whether it be players, team management and those involved in club, county, provincial and national level. It is the subject of much speculation and debate throughout the country as to their team's prospects and selections. Teams spend many hours in preparation in an effort to capture a provincial or all-Ireland title pitting their wills and abilities against one another. Games are often decided on a moment of brilliance or human frailty, and the beauty of games in an era where technology plays such a major part in our lives is that results cannot be programmed. <clears throat> While championships are taken seriously by all participating teams, they also provide a valuable social outlet for our players. Many lifetime memories and friendships are made amongst players from various counties who compete against one another. Sport and especially a team sport, reflects the challenges that players face in their everyday life. It helps you to overcome apprehensions and fears, gives you a sense of appreciation, purpose, involvement and respect, and develops confidence, teamwork and social skills. <clears throat> Whether you will be making your inter-county championship debut or a seasoned camp championship campaigner, it is a great honour for you all to represent your county. You are role models in your community and a source of pride for your families. Ladies Gaelic football is a healthy, modern, skillful and competitive marketable sport. All of you here today have contributed handsomely to its success. We acknowledge the huge role that our sponsors TG Cahar has played in this tremendous growth over a relevantly short time. This year they are sponsoring our championship for the 10th year in succession. Their live coverage of our games brings our sport into living rooms and provides an opportunity for people to witness the skills of our game who otherwise may not be able to do so. TG Carr's sponsorship of ladies football is a wonderful example of a mutual successful and beneficial partnership in these difficult economic times. We are delighted to be associated with such a prestigious Irish company who share our vision of integrating ladies Gaelic football and families and communities throughout the country as sponsors of our junior, intermediate and all-Ireland championships, senior all-Ireland championships. For this support and promotion, I thank the Kennedy Polo Gallacore the head of sport, Ron Anna and their colleagues for not alone their sponsorship, but also their genuine interest in the promotion of ladies football. <clears throat> Our international dimension has, has now spread throughout the world with the recent formation of a club in Zimbabwe, which means that ladies Gaelic football is now played in Africa, America, Asia, Australasia and Europe. We now have approximately 135,000 members and over a thousand clubs throughout the world. And there's approximately 450 Gaelic clubs overseas also. These clubs provide a great comfort and peace of mind to families here in Ireland, knowing that should their daughters or sons have to emigrate by choice or otherwise, that they can link up with a club who will provide them with a warm welcome and a friendly face. And I suppose uh, an example of our international dimension was last year in the Asian Games in Bangkok, where 50 teams took part in it, 32 men and 18 women, and 29 different nationalities playing Gaelic football. I have no doubt but that this future international development will lead to a world championship within 10 years, and I hope that TG Cahar will still be with us in this exciting adventure. By giving our games an international dimension, our association play a huge role, and not alone in the promotion of ladies Gaelic football, but also of Irish culture and will significantly help the image of Ireland 
and the tourism trade for this country. An example of this is the Asian Pacific Ireland Business Forum, which is held each year in conjunction with the Asian Gaelic Games Championships. The networking is replicated throughout America and Australia and Europe in their championships. The enthusiasm generated at these games and fora provide jobs and a sense of pride in all things Irish. I am sure that this will be appreciated by the Minister in her brief as Culture and Tourism Minister and her efforts to encourage more people to come to Ireland. These All-Ireland Championships are about you, the players. You are the most important people in our association. There would be no need for any of us to be here, only for you. We want you to enjoy them and to take pride in wearing your county colours. And I wish you all a safe journey home today and that you have an enjoyable championship. Gorabila Wahagaf. <laughs>